do we do our work in, in IPC 144? How do we actually program and the business that we are in? Again, remember about full duplex, half duplex communication I talked about in class last time? Full duplex is the one that I talk, you reply to me, tell you that you got it, and you respond. Half duplex is you only sit over there, listen, I don't know if you get it or not. Remember, full duplex, okay. How many of you guys have ever programmed in any language? No, in any language. So this is not an answer. Like, if you have written one thing that printed your name, that's considered programming. Okay, good. Okay, all right. Okay, good. Oh, good. So I see people are doing and Some people are doing like this. I don't know what is that. <laughs> like, okay. Stand straight with your shoulders back all the time. Okay? This is not an answer. This is an answer. Okay? Remember that. Okay. Computer programming is an exact science. Did we talk about this? No. Kind of? No. Okay. If I told you to write you an essay about fall, all of you are going to write essays, and they're all beautiful. It's almost impossible that two of them are even close to each other. Do we agree? Okay. If I ask you to write a program to print fall, F-A-L-L, -L, probably it's going to be identical. Okay. Computer programming is an exact science. If I told you to scratch your head, you scratch your head. If I told you to pull your ears, you pull your ears. If I told you to write a dot and a semicolon, you write a dot and a semicolon. Not a space dot space semicolon. Not space dot semicolon space. You write dot semicolon period. Do we understand this? When I ask you to do something, you follow the instructions to the little detail that it has exactly as I tell you. If you don't know, you know what's going to happen? The airplane is going to crash with 300 people in it. And I am not joking. If I ask you to write a program that prints such title, and I want the title to be as such, don't put two asterisks and two underlines around it to make it beautiful. That is bad. I'll tell you a story. It's a real one. Okay? When I started uh, my programming thingy a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, I just started learning C, and I was very happy about it. Okay? I was one of those people who got a book, and, oh, my God, I can do stuff with this. So this... Uh, company, this tour company, approaches me, and they're the biggest tour companies in the country that I used to live in. And they said, we want to sell uh, tours with train tickets. And we want the train, because train tickets at the time, they were like this little sloppy little, little piece of paper. They wanted like it would be issued like an airplane thing with references and address, like a good thing like with all the things. So it, it looks professional and nice. And I said, okay. Three months, I worked on it perfectly. They would receive a call. So there was a call room like this. They would receive a call. At the time, there was no internet, right? They would receive a call. They would get the call, your name, and they would give them a reference number. They would have the reference number. Go through all these things. And when the ticket got sold, because it's a good thing, and I said it should be something that encourages people that the ticket was sold, I did two beeps. Beep, beep. Nice, cool, right? So, so the job is finished. Your John ticket is sold. I added two beeps at the end of the selling. As soon as the thing went online in the room, I got a call that you've got to come over here. We are dying. At the time, PCs did not have volume. It's a speaker inside the PC that makes the noise. You cannot reduce or increase the volume. It's a standard sound that comes out. I opened the door, and it was this. Beep, 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 beep. Because 200 people are selling stuff, and anything that gets sold, two beeps is coming out. Multiplied by 200, people were going nuts. We had to shut down the lab. I had to go back to the lab, my own lab, 
redo the whole thing, take the two bloody beeps out, recompile, redistribute, bring the uh, uh, installation disk, because at the time there was no internet, go one by one to the PCs, reinstall the damn thing, because I did two beeps. Nobody asked for it, and I thought it's cool. Okay, so don't be a hero. Follow the instructions to the bone. If you think there is at certain place something that you can improve and you look at it, it would have been better if it was like this. You go to the client and you make damn sure that the client consents with that with five signatures that it's okay to do so. Who's the client here? Me. So if you want to change something and you think something can be done better, come talk to me. Do not, I repeat, do not ever forget to plug your PC into the thing because the recording is just got screwed up. <laughs> just a second. Okay. It just went to sleep. Okay. Just a second. <laughs>